so I'm just going to quickly go over my electrical. Uh, these white pieces are plugs, inverter. Uh, that is our uh, outlet that goes on the side of the trailer. Uh, our battery charger, water pump, and the switch for the water pump. Uh, so I'm not going to be running any hard wires. Everything's plug-in. Uh, I got these switches off Amazon, all plug-in. So when we're plugged in or running the generator, we will have this outlet that we can plug into. If we're not running the generator and we need our inverter, we can turn the inverter on and we'll have access to this outlet. While we're plugged in here, we'll be able to, the battery charger will be running to charge the battery. This is a NOCO uh, Gen Pro 10 times one battery charger. And then the switch will be hardwired to the battery. So we'll be able to turn on the pump and we'll have an extra switch which will go to under cabinet lighting. So first things first, we're gonna install the outside plug and uh, start uh, connecting everything together. Uh, yeah. Don't rush it. Due to the walls and the trailer being so thick, we actually had to cut out the wood at the bottom inside in order for it to receive this part here. Finger in there. We're just going to do a dry fit here, make sure it fits. Perfect, so now we'll put on the putty and then we'll silicone around the top. We pre-drilled our two uh, screws that we're going to use. We're using uh, sheet metal screws that we'll paint the ends after. And now we're going to silicone around the plug with some uh, construction silicone. The reason we're using these longer screws is to get through the insulation and then through the plywood. That silicone really squeezes out like that. And then the bottom one, we're just using the sheet metal screw that it came with. because it's not, if it went too far, it would hit the, uh, the wire for the actual plug. Okay, so there's our NOCO plug, our shore plug that we can par plug in on the outside. And we're not using it, you just cover it up. So now we will go and continue wiring on the inside, but uh, that turned out really well. Okay, so there's our NOCO plugs coming through the wall. We've now drilled a hole inside of the cabinet and we're going to plug the NOCO plug into our uh, white plug here. And that's going to be mounted on the side here. For now it's going to be mounted here. We're eventually going to get a cover for here. Um, that looks a little nicer. So we'll run one plug and then we'll run a second plug down the cabinets that'll go into the inverter that we're going to mount later. Okay, so these are the plugs here. Unfortunately, they got very small lips on the side, so I have to be very exact. Uh, good thing is, this isn't going to be the finished piece, so this will be more like my test piece. Uh, the finished piece will look a lot nicer and I'll cap it off, but for now I want to get these installed because I'm not sure I'll have that piece before we get out camping. So we're just going to put it in here for now and it's a good test piece to uh, make sure that uh, this will fit and I can catch this lip. So we're going to drill it and use the jigsaw and hopefully it fits. Okay. 
Okay, so we cut out our first hole for our plug. We have to uh, use the file to get it perfect. And so that just sits in there like this. And then we'll, uh, we'll screw it in. And then we're gonna put one more above it. Um, and then we're gonna have some other switches located here as well. And you'll see those shortly. Okay, we have both our plugs installed and the wiring runs from behind the plugs, behind the sink that's going to be installed. Those wires come through the cabinet. One connects to the shore plug on the outside and the other one will connect to the inverter and that's what we're going to install next. Okay, so now we have our inverter installed. Uh, we're trying to get the wires on this as close as we can to the battery. They say not over five feet for the uh, positive and negative wires. Um, now that it's installed, we can uh, install this external on off plate, uh, which we're gonna be installing at the other end of the kitchen cabinets. Uh, the bench slash bed here is not ideal to always get into, uh, especially if there's pillows and things like that, you're not always gonna wanna open it up. So having this switch uh, somewhere easy to access is going to be uh, really nice. So I'm going to install this now. And I drilled a one inch hole. So let's see if this fits. Yep, like a glove. Perfect. Okay, so now we have our uh, inverter installed right here. Our battery charger over here, our shore power comes in here, which will charge, uh, hit the charger. The charger will be connected to a battery uh, cable, which goes underneath the trailer into the front battery. Um, and then the inverter will have that switch where we can turn on the inverter if we're not plugged in and just use battery power. So there's a couple more wires to do to hook up under mount cabinet lighting and uh, pump water pump and uh, we'll get those done and then we'll uh, punch the holes through the floor for the inverter and we'll get everything connected okay so I'm not sure if you guys have seen the bench complete uh, we've added corners that are fixed the back is fixed and that far side is fixed but this is for storage so we have all this room for storage and those positive and negative wires. I don't know if you can see them back there, but they come through the floor. We have our NOCO battery charger, which comes from our short power, which is plugged in and connects to a circuit breaker and connects to our inverter. And then the other shore plug that comes in runs our plug, which goes through the cabinets. So our shore power is the bottom one because we're plugged in. If we're running off the inverter, we plug into the top one. We also have our inverter switch on off here. Okay, so here's the battery box I got on sale at Princess Auto because it had a small dent in this corner. So we've siliconed the seams and uh, it works great. So we have our positive and ne negative connected. We go to our inverter. And we needed a large enough cap on the side. I just have the board on it, keeping the lid shut uh, to run our wires. It's actually a vacuum uh, inlet for a home vacuum. It was a perfect size to run all of our wires. 
that's what it looks like on the inside so it worked out great and the wires go up through the floor into the bench okay as you can see we added another switch uh, this switch on the right hand side controls the water pump so you turn that on or on and then we also have a light switch and that is for sorry about the mess under cabinet lighting which is wired right to the 12 volt battery under the seat if you like this video make sure you hit the like and subscribe for more cargo trailer videos catch you on the next one